Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Beloved in Christ, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I make this video to bring glory and honor to the Lord Jesus Christ alone. To him be glory and honor forever and evermore. Amen. Amen. Um, today's message, today's message um, is, um, it has so many titles. So however way you take it, I, I just pray that it will make a positive impact on your soul. And you stand up, you rise up to your feet and move with it in the name of Jesus. Declare to your soul, decree to your soul that it is well. Speak positively. As a believer, as a child of God, as a follower of Christ Jesus, you must speak good things to your soul. You must decree positive things to your soul. You may be going through challenges. Maybe the city or the town, the village, the nation as a whole, wherever it is that you reside, all odds is against you. Everything that you touch uh, turns against you. Whatever job that everybody is doing, that they make profit, you, you go into the same business and you get losses instead of profit. You are doing contrary. Where everybody is, is passing exams in the education, in school, you keep failing. Maybe you don't have a child yet. You, you are in a marriage, you don't have a child yet. And people, even from church, their actions with their children, everything mocks you. Everything is mocking you. Everything is taunting you. Where is your God? They see you to be maybe prayerful. Maybe you are active in church activities, yet you have a dying need Everybody in the church is aware of. And their actions mocks you. Their actions taunts and question the God that you serve. I am here to admonish you as the servant of the Most High God. That say to your soul, it is well and it shall be well. Say to your soul that you shall overcome that all this too shall pass whatever the situation is we serve the living god bible says he calls into existence things which does not exist in fact when you read the book of hebrews uh one of the chapters i don't remember vividly but it says that I believe that is the chapter that talks about faith. When the whole world, the whole universe was filled with darkness, God saw light in the midst of the darkness, in the midst of the deep, where the darkness was all over the waters and everything was dark and everything was chaotic. God saw light. So, as people have tagged you as the prostitute, the harlot, the barren, the one, the childless lady, the one without a child, the one whose children are sickle cell anemia, they are sickless, they are always sick, the one who is dying of cancer. Because doctors have decreed, um, has uh, given a report that you're going to die in a year or six months or three months. 
whatever your dying situation is, whatever the darkness that is surrounding your life this very moment, as you watch this, as you hear the Lord speaking to you, decree to your soul that it is well and it shall be well. Declare to your soul, declare to your spirit that it is well with you, my soul. It shall be well. It is already well. The Lord is your shepherd. The Lord is with you. Hallelujah. As you make this positive declaration, as you declare this into the ears of God, so he shall make it come to pass. Hallelujah. Because when God was speaking to Moses, in the book of Numbers, he told Moses that tell this ungrateful generation, these beings that I took out of Egypt, that they don't really appreciate any good thing that I do for them. The very thing that I've heard them decree and declare in my ears, the very thing that has come out of their mouths, that same thing I shall do unto them. Hallelujah. Praise God. So I am here to admonish you, daughter of Zion, man of God, servant of the Most High God. Whatever dying need that you are in need of, whatever troubled your soul. We are, we, are in, we are in an era, we are living in a time where every soul is busy. Everybody is busy with something. Everybody is suffering from something. Everybody is being pestered. You know, the enemy is uh, attacking everyone. So don't, don't, don't let your mind tell you that this one that is preaching to me, this lady that is preaching to me, all is well with, with, with her. She got everything going 100%. Believe you me. I personally have challenges that I passed through, but I never let it weigh me down. And every morning I wake up, I give glory to God, and I exalt the Lord Jesus greater and higher, mightier than my problems, my personal problems. So maybe you might be thinking, oh, let me call this sister and tell her about my problem, about this or that. But my dear brother, my dear sister, I am here to tell you that decree to your soul. If your spirit is downcast, if your spirit is so sad, you are depressed, you feel oppressed, you feel suppressed, you, you, you feel mutilated by the devil, you feel possessed by the devil, you feel manipulated by the enemy, speak to your soul. Tell your soul, it is well with you. Jesus is still the Lord of your life, my soul. Say that to your soul every day that you wake, every waking moment of your life. As far as you can remember, Jesus is the keeper of your soul. And as you exalt the Lord Jesus' name, and you whisper that to your soul, it sets the devil confused. In fact, it infuriates the devil more. And he might want to even challenge you more, put you to the very, you know, stick to the wall where you are so present. And I'm telling you, that even at that point where you feel so crashed, crashed to the ground or crashed to the wall, you've hit, you, you, you've hit a, a brick wall, a dead end. There's no left, there's no right. Say to your soul that it is well with me. It is well with me, and it shall be well, as you decree and as you declare. Turn your Bibles with me to the book of Psalm 42. The book of Psalm 42. I'm reading the whole chapter. The book of Psalm, I'm, I'm reading the New tra uh, Living Translation. As the deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O oh God. I thirst for God, the living God. 
when when can i go and stand before him this is the king david talking he says that as the deer longs the king james will say panted for streams of water so i long for you O god i thirst for god the living god when can i go and stand before him beloved even when you feel so crushed when you feel like your whole uh, family is under attack and the demonic attack and that the government attack the state attack whatever attack is coming left right center back front let your soul test after god that even is the point where you must see god the most not to be calling people people hear me out man of god hear me out bishop of no that is when personally you must see god and not not in desperation but let your soul pants for god to feel you more because yeah the, the apostle paul was saying that whether we live or die he said to me to live i live for christ and to die is gain so whether i live or i die my soul belongs to jesus you understand it is about time we mature to that point maybe you've been in christ maybe a year maybe six months maybe for so long so many years and you think that at, at this point in your life in your christian work you should be you should have you know been at a level that you know you are not whatever the situation is decree and declare to your soul that it is well my soul don't be discouraged don't feel downcast hope in the lord trust in the lord trust in the lord with every fiber in you praise the lord verse 3 day and night i have only tears for food while my enemies continually taunt me saying where is this god of yours sister brother auntie mommy beloved in christ maybe this is what is happening to you david is saying that his enemies continually taunt him saying where is this god of yours maybe you have own lucas people even in the church suddenly they are in the church of god they are watching they have their big eyeballs watching how you will fall how that sickness that they've heard that you have will kill you eventually will destroy you eventually will will put you in a depressive mood eventually say to your soul it is well it is well my soul don't be discouraged trust in the lord continually hope in christ as you speak that de declaration to your soul your soul will revive i guarantee you every day you do this spiritual exercise it is both spiritual and physical physical in the sense that you are de you are declaring physical with your mouth but spiritually it will be healing to your bone it will be healing to your soul amen it says verse 4 my heart is breaking as i remember how it used to be i walked among the crowds of worshipers leading a great procession to the house of god singing for joy and giving thanks amid the sound of a great celebration why am i discouraging why is my heart so sad i will put my hope in god i will praise him again my savior and my god beloved like i said before <clears throat> maybe you've been serving god for years for ages everybody know you as the chorus leader as the singer the choir master the leader of that group whatever it is you know everybody knows you in that church or that fellowship whatever it is and so they they expect some high you know standard some whatever from you just as is typical of humans but it's not going that way you you it seems like you are rather retrogressing or you know you are not progressing you are coming down like in a down spiral 
Don't be discouraged. Do not discourage yourself. You know, sometimes you, you meet a brother in Christ, a sister in Christ, you ask them, how are you doing? And the way, the, the negative answer they will give, ah, I don't know. I don't know my sister. As you can see, that is negative. You've already condemned yourself. You've already condemned your soul. You have punished yourself. You've, you've, you've decreed a, a sentence, a negative sentence on yourself. Well, as you can see, we are managing. Do not manage. Thrive. Move forward. Don't, don't, don't be dependent on antidepressants. Don't let the doctors dictate to you how your soul and your body should live. I wish above all things that you shall prosper, even as your soul prospereth. Beloved, if you take these words that the Lord is giving you and run along with it, and every day make a de declaration, I am the head and never the tail. Jesus died for me. I am more than a conqueror. I am more than victorious. The blood of Jesus is my strength. And as you are decreeing on your soul, on your wife, if you are married, on your husband, if you are married, on your children. My children will be the head and never the tail. You teach even your children how to make this declaration. In fact, make it with them. Make this declaration with your children. Tell them, you are covered. Let them respond by the blood of Jesus. Therefore, no weapon that will form against you, it shall not prosper. As you make them recite this and make it a daily routine and declaration. As you speak it forth, so it shall be. Job 22, 28, it says, And you shall decree a thing, and it shall be established. As you decree to your soul, as you say positive things, so it shall be established. If you say it in faith, so it shall be. Hallelujah. Don't say it and be doubting. Well, what would this do? In fact, the moment you doubt and say, well, what would this that I said do? You've canceled and nullified every word that has come out of your mouth. Do not let the enemy weigh you down. Tell your soul, you, you may be feeling downcast today, but arise, hope in Christ, my soul. Hope in the Lord. For the Lord God is what? It's more has overcome the world. Speak positive things. Speak positive things. Speak positive things into your life. And when you come to the, uh, the verse, it says that, Now I am deeply discouraged, but I will remember you. Even from distant Mount Hermon, the source of Jordan, from the land of Mount Mizza. Ms I hear the tumult of raging seas. As your waves and surging tides sweep over me. But each day the Lord pours his unfailing love upon me. And through each night I sing his songs. Praying to God who gives me life. Listen to what David, King David is saying. Each day the Lord pours his unfailing love upon me. Beloved, even to pass through another 24 hour window. You must know that it is the love of God that has kept you that far. If you are not counted among the dead, your name doesn't start from the late Mr. A, the late Mrs. B, or the late Miss Z. Then know that it is the unfailing love of God that has kept you that far. And so why must your heart be dismayed? Why must your heart be uh, still troubled why must you be thinking about what people think about you or what the doctors think is wrong with you meditate upon Psalm 42 very well please meditate upon the words of David and find some encouragement in his words he said but each day the Lord pours his unfailing love upon me know that as long as your soul is within your body, each day, within that 24-hour window, you have the unfailing love of God still.
hovering upon you, still upon your life. And so don't give up easily. And don't use your mouth to say uh, negative words. Matthew chapter 12, verse 36, Jesus said, The very word that is coming out of men shall condemn us. On the day of judgment, it shall condemn us. So every day, if you were decreeing negative things on yourself, negative stuff will come upon you. Bad things will happen to you. But if your your the things the word that is coming out of your mouth is praising God and hoping in God and decreeing and declaring positively on your soul, on your life, your children, your husband, your wife, your sisters, your brothers, your mothers, if your your mouth, your lips is is de uh, encouraging them, so it shall be for you. Amen. And it will be counted to you as good. Verse 8, he said, Oh God, my rock, I cry. Why have you forgotten me? Why must I wander around in grief, oppressed by my enemies? Their tongues break my bones. They are scoff. Where is this God of yours? Maybe that is the same situation you are going through. People are calling you names. You are a witch. You are a wizard. You are this. You are that. Stupid names they've given you. Why? Because the enemy has put those taunting words in their mouths to taunt you, to haunt you, to make you depressed, oppressed, suppressed, to bring your spirit down. And so David said in the last verse, why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again. My Savior and my God. Your Savior is the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you acknowledge Jesus as your Savior, then just, just every morning, just do this extra. Every night, just, just sing of his praise. Say, my soul, my soul, mention your name, my soul, grace. Never you be discouraged. It doesn't matter how many people insult you, how many people curse you out. It doesn't matter what they try to do to you. Be hopeful in God. Be hopeful in Christ. Hope, believe, have faith in the master, the creator, the giver of life, and the taker of life. Do not be afraid of man. Do not be afraid of the choice of words they use on, on you. And don't be too focused. Though it might be taunting, it might be piercing, their ashes and everything taunts you, hands you down. But I admonish you in Christ. Never you allow it to bring you down to the point that you cannot lift Jesus up in worship to overcome. For as long as you allow their taunting words to, to have dominion over you, it will keep depressing and suppressing you, oppressing you till you give up on the Lord. Till you go back to the world and act the way they are acting. To react physically. But our warfare is never canal. We are never supposed to react to the negativity and the bad things that happens. But to declare, decree positively to our soul. Every day before you get to that workplace. You know... Instead of singing, uh, listening to other people's song, do declaration. If you are driving, do declaration till you get to that job. Say, I take charge of the work that I'm going to do. I decree and I declare that today I am more than conqueror. I, will have, I have favor. If, if you are under someone, I have favor in the sight of my manager, supervisors, and every co-worker. I have my soul have favor before all of them. The mercy and the grace of God is too abundant on my soul and my body. I remain more than victorious. I am, I am problem free and I am sickness free. De make declaration. Make positive declaration on your life, on your soul. And as you speak that in the ears of God. So... He will do to you. The very words the Lord hear you say every day. If it's bad words, remember that you are going to remain in that and no amount of prayer can do anything and change anything. 
you must reverse every negative thing that you've said. Go to God and ask for forgiveness. If you've been negative, you are always negative. You are always speaking bad things. As you speak bad and you remain negative in your life, so your life will be miserable. I speak the truth to you in love. That from today, have a renewal of mind. That I am no longer going to remain under the depression and oppression bondage. I will have a free spirit, a free mind that will declare positive words on my soul. Positive words on my life in the name of Jesus. If today is the first day you are watching us, it's time to give the Lord Jesus a chance if you don't know him yet. Tomorrow is never promised to you. Jesus died to save mankind. He died so that you may have life to the fullest. Your good moral life cannot take you to heaven without the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Give him a chance in your life to take that depressive mood, that depressive life, and make it a joyful life. Jesus loves you and he's coming back again for those who accepted them, accepted him into their lives. If you are ready to give your life to Jesus today, can you lift your two hands in total surrender and let's pray this prayer together. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the knowledge of truth today. Today, I accept you as my Lord and as my personal savior. Come into my heart and be my Lord forever and ever. Amen. If you prayed these simple prayers, the power of God has come into you. The blood of Jesus has marked you for the great day of the Lord. Look for a Bible study believing church and an effective prayer believing church. Join them to fellowship so that together you will grow in Christ Jesus. Remain rapture ready. Amen.